Hey everyone, today we're talking about the use ID hook, which is one of five hooks that was introduced with React 18. So it's not technically the newest, it's one of the newer hooks, but it's also the by far the simplest one to use. It's very simple. Uh, it helps us generate unique IDs. I almost said random IDs, but they are not at all random. They are unique IDs that are stable. So unlike a random ID, they will not change. So there's certain situations this can be very useful in. So here's a very simple component called form. Uh, it is a form that has one input and a label that is labeling that input. Of course, they're connected by the ID on the input, the HTML4 attribute on the label. So uh, this works great. We're properly labeling our inputs. But let's say that this is not the only one of these components, but rather I have four of these components, one for each player in a chat lobby or a game or something. So now I have four of these form components, four different forms, but they all have the same HTML4 and ID labeling the same input. So if I click on this label or player three label or player four, even though the text is different, the IDs are the same. So it's all focusing on this input here. So I need some form of a unique ID. So I guess I could do something like math.random, but there's a couple of problems with math.random. One is that it's not even stable. Uh, just every time the component re-renders, I'll get a different ID, and that can be bad for accessibility. Uh, some screen readers will read out a changing ID every single time it's, it basically thinks there's a new element on the page. So we don't wanna do that if, if we can avoid it. Um, but then there's the issue of server-side rendering and having a mismatch between IDs on the server-side versus the client-side. So we want something that is stable. We don't wanna use math.random. Instead, we can use the use ID hook. So it's very simple to use. You execute it, you don't have to pass anything through. Just use ID if you spell it correctly. And that will return to us a stable ID that is guaranteed to be the same on the server and the clients. So if I then replace this HTML4 just with that ID, or I could even add on some text if I wanted to, you know, username dash that ID, it doesn't really matter, but I'll keep it super simple. Let's just put the whole ID as it is unchanged. Okay, so now I have my four form components. Each one is being labeled properly, each input has its own ID and the label has its own HTML4 and they match. So if I inspect, you'll see what we end up with are some kind of weird looking IDs. They have colons in them, colon RB, colon R9. Now there are other situations where we use IDs that you do not want to use the use ID hook for. This is not meant to be used if you have a key prop for a list of components or a list of something that you're rendering. You should not use use ID to uh, generate those IDs. There's actually a note about it on the docs. It is not for generating keys in the list. Your IDs should come from your data or the keys should be generated from your data. And the reason for this is that you should only call use ID one time per component. So in this component, I am lucky. I happen to have one input. If I had multiple inputs, let's say I just doubled this here, they're all gonna have the same ID, of course. It's only being called once per component, which is how it's supposed to work. But what I can do instead is change the way I use those IDs. So maybe this is for username and this here is for, I don't know, email. So I can prefix or postfix. I can do, you know, email like that plus the ID, for example. And then same thing here. So instead of getting multiple IDs or multiple calls to use ID, I call it once and then I just build unique IDs using that ID. So now it still should work, right? I have two properly labeled inputs that have unique, guaranteed to be unique IDs, uh, but I only called use ID one time. So that's it for the use ID hook. Uh, the key takeaways are it generates a stable ID that will not change on the server or the client. It's guaranteed to be stable. Uh, and you shouldn't use it for key props, but you can use it to do things like uh, create properly labeled form elements. So very simple, but nice, cute.